Vikings now. That's searching out. Draper has got in behind. Manus forced into the save. It could still be alive. And eventually sent clear by Anderson. What a chance it was, though, for Ross Draper. The St Johnson back four sleeping. Draper in behind. Walker and sold McCarthy short. Quinn. And that will come off Mackay to Volfart. He's done well against Hamill too. Still Volfart is going to have a go. Yeah! It's a quite brilliant finish by the German. It's a second goal for Ross County. The other came in Dingwall against Celtic. But he did this one all by himself. From a tight angle, he's found the far top corner. That's an excellent finish. And Ross County are in front in Edinburgh. There's Ngoo, fine header by Michael Ngoo. Four minutes into the second half, hearts are level. Well, he scored three goals in his first four games for the club, none in the seven since. But he's found the net brilliantly with that header. He towered above Monroe. Tigers to take the corner. Volfar's got front post. Ross County back in front. Stefan Volfar at the double. He got the run on Stevenson. And the free header nodded past Jamie McDonald. Long throw, away by Monroe, Holt, oh, what a goal that was by Jason Holt. The 20-year-old celebrates his third goal of the season, and that is all about instinct and technique. He had no time to react, but found the far corner perfectly. in front in this game. Lawson, he's lost out. Sutton plays it and Goo! Another fantastic finish. Michael and Goo makes it 4 2. And a five minute turnaround for Hearts. As they're leading this game now comfortably. Three goals in four and a half minutes. Michael and Goo lashing in his second. Thank you. 
exposure at the key moment. Here's Hooper. Commons, good control by Commons. And so calmly tucked away into the corner. Chris Commons scores his 16th goal of the season. And he scored in each of the last three matches. He did well to take it in the stride. Not sure Gary Hooper's pass was intended for him. It was fired. Goal for Celtic, the scorer number 15, Chris Commons. The corner. Here's Wanyama. Lovely ball to find Lustig. Low one across, Commons back to goal. Not a problem for Chris Commons. His second of the afternoon. Celtic go two up. 17 goals from midfield this season for Chris Commons. It's a great return. Mikhail Lustig providing the assist. Goal for Celtic scorer once again, number 15, right Chris side. Collins. Chris Collins just swivelling, beating Williams. Collins short, it goes. Back from Collins to Ledley. Ledley to the byline. Oh, Lustig turns it into the net. He looks a little sheepish that the goal has been awarded. It suggests that this one may have gone off the Swede's arm, but it will count, and Celtic are 3-0 up, and they are cruising in this game. Goal for Celtic, scorer number 23, Michael Lustig. Lasley now, Higdon the target, and it's classic Michael Higdon, a free header from six yards out, he simply does not miss those, scored in this fixture back in August, he's now got 23 for the season, Newton to Thompson, back it comes to the man on loan from Newcastle United, Kenny McLean into McGowan, Newton, on to Thompson, back it comes to the man on loan from Newcastle United, Kenny McLean into McGowan, he floats one out to Emery, Puri now, Newton inside him, might think about the shot, oh Connor Newton, what a goal, it's his first for the club, and it's an absolute cracker, Randolph nowhere near it, Special strike from Connor Newton. Here's McCausland. McGinn into Guy. McLean back it comes to Lewis Guy and he tucks it home. A very neat goal by St Mirren. Good passing. Finished by Lewis Guy who scores his first goal since October. There's only one contender here, it's James McFadden! Oh, special strike from James McFadden! Six minutes from time to level things up. Quite magnificent from James McFadden. Lockwood, well left by Harkins. Here's Baird, he can return it for Gary Harkins, who scores! Gary Harkins! silences the home crowd against his former team he hasn't scored since his return to Dundee and how ironic that he would do it against his former employers forward comes Barber now Gro oh it's found its way to Chris Boyd who steadies himself and equalises on 74 minutes William 
Pro with a delicate ball in. Declan Gallagher missed the header, and there was Chris Boyd to pounce. Two goals in four days for Chris Boyd. Dundee have only won away at Tynecastle this season, just one match. What to do if they can turn this game around? Toshney, Hawkins, it's 2-1 now. Gary Hawkins with his second goal against his former team. Quite brilliantly taken to Vernon. He's going the wrong way though. He's got to be careful here. His clearance has hit flood. Watson. Oh, Balding all alone. Tucks it away. Two minutes into stoppage time. 